another episode of Bob's Garage. So today I wanted to talk about ABS, ESP, traction control, and clock springs. So back in December or early January is when I replaced the heater core on my car. I had put everything back together, got it back up and running again, and the heat was working great. But when I first started up the car, I got uh, these error messages. Basically the traction control light was illuminated on my dash along with the ABS and brake light. So you know, I had to kind of do some digging into everything to figure out what was causing this alert. And what I came across was the steering angle sensor was, was uh, messed up. So basically, what this meant was uh, when I had taken apart the steering wheel and removed the steering wheel, I grabbed the little we the little uh, sensor wheel underneath, and I was like, "Oh wow, this this almost feels like a little um, not, not 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 a servo, but almost like a uh, like a um, like a like a uh, motor uh, on the steering wheel." So I was playing with it, I was spinning it around, I was having a good time. <clears throat> well. Um, when I put it all back together and started getting these alerts, which the car never showed any of these alerts before, I started getting concerned. So once I started digging into it and I heard and read about the steering angle sensor, my heart sank. That was uh, the, the thing that I was playing with and spinning around and twiddling was the steering angle sensor. So apparently for traction control and ABS and all that, well, first off, traction control uses ABS so from my understanding um, the uh, the car has the ability to pulse all of the brakes or various brakes or whatever to gain traction so without um, basically that steering angle sensor working correctly none of the other systems would work correctly which are ABS and traction control so that uh, led me to go into I, I read the VAD back blocks and basically pulled up the steering angle sensor and read the value of it. So from my understanding when the steering wheel is perfectly straight and the car is on a flat level surface the steering angle should be relatively zero degrees. Well mine was reading negative 720 degrees. So what that meant was uh, my steering angle sensor had been spun backwards two complete rotations which makes sense because I was playing with it okay no big deal so I spun it back to zero I read the setting in uh, bag in uh, VCDS and all was good so that was uh, group 005 on the ABS brakes module which is the 03 module of my car and yeah so I put it all back together and started it up again and lo and behold I still had the same error messages so what I basically needed to do at that point was recalibrate the uh, the steering angle sensor <clears throat> and this was harder said than done uh, everything that I had found across the internet was very kinda obscure I found some article dated back talking about um, various um, various like uh, codes to enter into the system and, and apparently the Tiptronic code was different than the the M6 code for manual transmissions so I could not quite figure it out I kept playing with it and playing with it and so here's what I came up with okay so looking over my notes I had come across an article and I'll, I'm gonna post all this in the comments or uh, the, the video description below but I come across an, uh, an article that explained and outlaid the process for resetting all of this. So it said to go within VAGCOM, select module 03, which is for the ABS brakes, log in, and then it said to enter uh, a code. Well, both of the codes that I was given was, uh, it, this just did not seem to work. So you're supposed to select recode, enter in a, a special soft code, which was um, for, uh, I guess the, the, the soft code was different for a six-speed versus a Tiptronic. 
and then also enter a workshop code. And then uh, at which point the uh, you would click do it and then clear all the DTC codes. But the problem I was having with the process that I'd uh, encountered online, it, I was still having issues with the ABS module holding the soft code. It kept clearing to all zeros. So it basically wouldn't save the new soft code. So I tried multiple times. It didn't seem to work. I did it above. And then, uh, so, so what I did was I did the first procedure, which was at, uh, up above in the uh, documentation listed in the video here. And then I also, uh, so I did that first, and then I followed it by these steps. So I went to back into VAGCOM, logged in using a code of 40168, selected do it, selected basic settings, went to group 001, and then there should I uh, made sure that there was an OK in the block for the calibration steer sensor. So then I turned the ignition on, I'm sorry, off, back on. And then I made sure that uh, w once the car started back up, I no longer had a flashing brake light and no more beeping. So I still had the ABS and ESP lights, but no more brake light. So that was kind of a clue that uh, I was on the right track. So, <laughs> so from there... I um, I did the other the rest of the procedure where you basically you have to drive your car 0 0.3 miles and then the ASP and ESP lights turned off. So I tested it out. I did have ABS that was working. It was a, a snowy, icy day, so I was able to check that traction control, which is uh, ESP, and and my anti-lock brakes were working. Um, and also the dash button, the button on my dash for ESP worked, so I was able to turn it on and off. So I then uh, parked my car, opened up VAG again, I opened up the 03 uh, ABS module in VAGCOM, and then the soft coding value was now saving, so it was no longer all zeros. And also I no longer saw any DTCs and uh, alerts in VAGCOM. So, also, just a quick note, when I did open VAGCOM and drill down into the ABS module, my dash beeped and all my alerts turned on in my dash. So, I thought that was odd. I checked for error codes, nothing. I turned the car off and back on and everything cleared, no beeping, no more alerts on the dash or anything. So, um, if you have any problems with this, just uh, shoot me a message or comment on this video. It, there, there's not a lot of information out there on how to reset your ABS and traction control or uh, how to recalibrate your steering sensor. So um, what I recommend is if you ever remove your steering wheel, don't play with the sensor underneath that. So um, now I'm going to get into more videos later on. What I essentially found out later on is even though I was able to fix the traction control and ABS issue, I still, um, I, I have, now on my car, I have the airbag light is on. So that's going to be saved for another video, but basically I believe I damaged my clock spring. So uh, normally that wouldn't be too bad of a, a, a problem, but because this is a Tiptronic car, the Tiptronic cars have buttons on the steering wheel to shift up and down, whereas the manual uh, six-speed cars do not have those buttons. So what that translates to is a more expensive clock spring to the point where um, the clock spring the dealer wants over $500. So I'm going to be bringing some more videos to the plate uh, talking about this issue that I had and it all stemmed from me working on that heater core and basically breaking that clock spring. So in the meantime I now have traction control and ABS but I do not have um, an airbag, dri driver side airbag. I do not have the Tiptronic buttons functioning and I also do not have a horn. So and basically all the electronics that are embedded in the steering wheel itself. The uh, steering angle sensor is I guess below the steering wheel or at the base of the clock spring I'm, I'm assuming so that's why that works, but the other stuff does not work. So um, I had read somewhere that if you spin the the, the uh, clock spring around more than 
once or twice or something like that, or more than 360 degrees or something along those lines, that, that it'll break. I don't know if that's true or not, um, but we will find out more in future episodes. So thank you, and stay tuned for more.